I'm Peter Tunney. I'm an artist. Born September 1st, 1961, 9.32 a.m., Georgetown University Hospital, Bam. When I was a kid, my earliest memory, I used to like to watch Johnny Carson and Merv Griffin. And I was fascinated by like the Rat Pack, and I used to do caricatures like guys do on the street. I copied a lot of them, I did cartoons. But I wasn't at all thinking, oh, I'm going to be an artist. It wasn't on the table then. I wanted to go into business, I wanted to make money. Those were the things jumbled in my head. And in 1987, I just declared myself an artist. I had a good job, I was making a lot of money, I was on Wall Street, I was in a fascinating area at the birth of biotechnology. I think I did it because I had this kind of amorphous idea in my head of what the artist's life was like. I think it was a lifestyle choice for me. And so when the stock market crashed in 1987, I thought this is a good seminal event. I'm gonna declare myself an artist. And as it turns out, it's like the hardest job I ever had. What inspires me then, what inspires me now? I think it's the same thing. It's just the world around me. There's no giant secret. You know, I walk down the street and there's a crushed pack of cigarettes. I think, oh, we can make art out of that. I get inspired just by paying attention. And because I've lived this life now for 30 years, I look at stuff that you don't have time to look at because I don't have a job. I just try to come here, not crash the car, have materials. I'm gonna go downstairs at the end of this interview and I'm gonna begin making something. One thing I have found is that if I'm trying to be clever, if I'm trying to be cute, if I'm trying to make something that you will buy, I end up just making a piece of crap. And I'm not necessarily this incredibly optimistic, naive person, that is not who I am at all. I would say I'm an elated pessimist. I saw a photograph yesterday of two galaxies colliding, taken by the Hubble. That makes me feel small. And then I want to express something that's bigger than us. I don't control the world. On my best day, I can control me. All of this grandiose talk and what our goals are doesn't really physically come into play with me almost ever. I live right there in super micro world. I'm in the details, man. I'm a details man. And without that, I don't think any of it works.